If you're lucky enough to be the owner of one of those older 1940s, 50s model cars that has the mono type of sound system where you have the 4x10 such as this up in the center of your dashboard and the mono 6x9 on the rear, either one or both. If you had both, you actually had a very sophisticated audio system. You had two speakers in your vehicle. Um, however, the receivers in those vehicles, whether they were AM or if they had the FM converter or whatever the case was, the sound was lackluster, obviously, by today's standard especially. So this video, I'm going to show you quickly how you can convert your front speaker, which would be the 4x10 mono, into a stereo output. Now, again, you'd have to have a radio or an adapter, either with an equalizer or a separator. Somehow, you're achieving left and right audio separation. That's the first thing, and I'm sure by now you've already invested into that, into your car. Now, if you still have the mono speaker, that's where I'm going to come in. I'm going to show you how to make that horrible speaker into something that's actually decent um, so let's just say that you have something like this which is a dual cone i'm going to imagine your speaker doesn't even exist because at that age these things just deteriorate and just turn into dust bowls so take this speaker and you don't have to settle for just getting rid of this and buying a pair of speakers which is better in quality and just discarding or not using the second you want to get rid of that but you want to have not mono stereo speakers so how you do it is very easy once you know how, and I'll show you how I have always done it. I take a piece of Luon, which is this. I'm sure if you watch my videos before, I use this all the time. Um, this is a very rigid, thin, lightweight piece of wood material, which is great. It's very strong, and it works awesome. You take your speaker, lay it down. I'm going to trace the pattern of the existing old speaker, because once it's gone, you're going to need to have this new pattern with the holes that line up identically as your pattern for your new speaker. So just trace that onto your piece of wood, remove it, and of course make sure that you notate left and right up and down because once you put this into the vehicle you don't want it to be the reverse of how you see it in your mind's eye because that that happens. Ask me how I know. Now since this is a 4x10 the you want to get the two of the largest speakers you possibly can into this space, and the largest you can use is three and a halfs. So get a couple decent, you know, three ways, three and a half inch, two way coaxials is my particular, you know, pick. The brand it doesn't really matter; it's a matter of your personal preference. And you're going to put them on there, sort of off axis, so that way you have enough room to mount these into the template. There's your one, and your second. Leave enough room so that way they're not on, right on top of one another. Now once you have that, you're just going to basically come in, I mean you can see about an eighth of an inch or so. I'm just going to really quick do this because for the video's sir, uh, purpose. You're going to cut this out, cut this out, and then on your old speaker, I should have already had it, but the holes say they're here, 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 and you know you're going to have your two here. I would go with the most, the most outermost screw holes, and I would take long nuts, say about three or four inches in length, where you have something like this. Take that, put a washer or two in there, one, two, three, four, drop it down. Take this with your two new speakers installed in it already. Take that, lift it up through the nuts, and take some, you know, nuts and washers, tighten it up so that way the sandwich is up underneath the dashboard, and there you go. You've gotten rid of the 4x10, and now you have a pair of 3.5-inch speakers in the same location. And that's really it. I mean, you will notice a tremendous enhancement to your sound system once this is done and the speakers will last forever I mean because they're hidden way underneath that nice big old metal dash of yours I'm sure that anybody's gonna absolutely love it so that's the trick 4x10 to 3.5 inch conversion who would have thought it would have been so easy